appliance doctors here today talking a little bit about smelly washers one of the biggest problems of front load washers and the reason why most people don't like them or why they get a bad rap let me tell you a little bit about how to solve that and how to never get it again first off uh, the, the stuff that you see down on the bellow seal which is down here this guy a lot of times you're going to see some black stuff in here. You know, you fold this back, you're going to see all this black stuff, and you're going to try cleaning that, and you're going to find out you're not going to be able to get that off. So what a lot of people do is they replace that bellow seal. Now the problem with that is, well, that costs a lot of money and you don't need to do that. I could tell you a way how to clean that out uh, without spending much money at all, and probably using something that you already have near your dishwasher or under your kitchen sink. Uh, first off, the reason that you get the black stuff is from liquid soap. Liquid soap residualizes into a black, greasy substance, and that's because there is an animal fat byproduct in there that builds up that thickness of the liquid soap. So what we do is we eliminate liquid soap completely, and we switch to powder. If we switch to powder, powder residualizes, yes, but it residualizes differently. It residualizes as a white talcum powder, kind of like a baby powder. Um, that's gonna not it's not gonna smell because it's a dry enzyme that's in the soap um, not really an enzyme necessarily but it's it's you know it's a powdered substance so you're not gonna get that smell from it uh, it's not gonna draw the dirt from your clothes and from your wash and cause all that smell hence the, the liquid soap and that's why you get that smell so how do we get rid of the liquid soap? How do we get rid of that residual? Well, pretty easy. It's probably going to shock you. Um, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the dispenser. I'm going to show this to you here. Uh, now, inside the dispenser on some of these machines, there's a divider or there's an indicator in here that's going to tell you that you have to change something to be able to put powder detergent in there. Some of the washers have a little cup in there uh, that you've been putting your liquid in, you do not want to put powder in that little cup. Uh, you know, look at your instruction manual that came with the machine or just go onto the manufacturer's website. You can get the manuals there. Uh, Google it. I mean, all over the place on the internet nowadays, of course. Uh, and if you found this video, um, obviously you're a little internet savvy. So uh, you could definitely find that information. Basically, we want this powder detergent to flow freely in this dispenser. So remove any obstructions that can cause that to happen. So what we're gonna do to clean the washer is we're gonna use powdered dishwasher detergent. That's right, powdered dishwasher detergent. Cascade, uh, get the cheap stuff. You know, you can get the great value Walmart brand, whatever you want to get, um, a dollar store, whatever. And just as long as it's dishwasher powder detergent, you're going to be fine. Now, dishwasher powder detergent is designed in a way where it will not suds. It can't because obviously if it did, your dishwasher would be sudsing everywhere. So this is the only time I'm going to tell you you can jam pack this dispenser full. You can use all the way up to a cup of dishwasher detergent when you're cleaning your machine. Now when you use this uh, method, do not put anything in the machine. No clothes, nothing like that. You don't need to uh, ruin your clothes, that's for sure. So you want to fill this up, go ahead and close the dispenser. Uh, you know, just close the door, just like you're doing a regular wash. Uh, you don't want to go to the clean washer um, at this point because clean washer is going to put all that stuff in there and it's going to rinse it right out again. So you don't want to do that. You want to do something like uh, just go to a quick wash. Yeah, um, most washers have them nowadays. You can go to um, a light. I, I recommend going to like a normal soil level if you have that option. If you don't, don't worry about it. The biggest thing you want to make sure that you do is go to a hot wash temp, as hot as you got. Uh, spin speed really isn't going to matter, you know. Um, so really just go to a quick wash, make sure you got hot water. That's really all you need to think about or really worry about, I guess, in this case. And then go ahead and start your washer. At that point, what it's going to do is the dishwasher detergent is going to go in there. It has an enzyme in it, which is about the only thing that is actually going to get rid of that liquid soap. 
and that smell that you're getting. Also, you'll probably notice after time of using liquid soap that your whites aren't so white anymore when they're done. They're kind of dingy, almost kind of gray. Well, the reason that is is because that black stuff you're seeing on a bellow seal is also embedded all the way inside that tub that you can't get to. Uh, so what's happening is that black, greasy stuff is releasing back onto your clothes. Now, this is all the dirt and soils that washed out of your clothes from previous loads. So no one wants that. So basically, what I'm telling you, get rid of the liquid soap. A lot of people are shocked when I tell them that. Liquid soap is the worst thing for a front load machine. Plus, not only that, um, what ends up happening as well, that liquid residual gets caught inside the bearing seal. Now, a lot of people have probably already had this experience with their front load washer, uh, and a lot of the reason why people don't really go back to a front load washer. Um, and front load washer, in my opinion, and in most repair technicians' opinions, is going to blow away any top load washer out there. Uh, just in every case scenario as far as cleaning your clothes and just being efficient, everything down the line to front load washer is definitely the way to go. Problem is, most people just aren't uh, necessarily fully trained on how to use them. And that's what I'm doing for, here, for you here today. Now, uh, so then the next thing we're going to do is after we're done with that, we're going to run it again. We're going to do this like three or four times with that dishwasher detergent. And you'll notice this black stuff's going to start fading away. Now, if, if you're noticing that it's not, and it, it might take more, it might take six to eight washes uh, to get rid of all of that stuff. Now, going back to that bearing, um, I kind of lost track there, but it, it, what, what that liquid soap will do is it'll destroy the rubber seal that stops any water to get to that bearing. And it sits on there and it residualizes and it deteriorates that rubber. Then when that rubber is deteriorated, the water gets into that bearing, destroys the bearing, and then what ends up happening is a dreaded floppy tub. This stainless steel basket will just be flopping around in there. If you were to do this, that stainless steel basket here would be flopping around inside this plastic tub. Uh, if that happens, you start seeing plastic shards happening here. It's just a god-awful noise when it's in spin. And the washer at that point is pretty much garbage unless it's still in warranty because you're looking at a very expensive repair. Uh, you know, I mean, to give you a range, depending on the washer, depending on the area, depending on the parts, there's a lot of variances there. But I have seen it to go anywhere from four to $800 for that repair. A lot of customers do not do that if they're out of warranty. Uh, sometimes this happens very soon in the life of the machine, sometimes three years, sometimes five years. At that point, someone feels that their confidence is completely shaken on front load washers and they don't look back. But if they were properly educated and trained on the front load washer, these things should easily last much longer than that. I've seen this particular machine here is about six years old. As you can tell, I've always used powder in here. I haven't done anything different other than just using powder. I don't even clean this machine that often, and I have absolutely no residual down there at all. It looks like a brand new machine yet, and that is because this thing has only seen powdered soap. Uh, so if you have any questions, definitely drop me an email. I will put that in the description as well as my website. I do have some more tips on there and definitely a lot more videos to come. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to seeing your emails and any comments or questions. Uh, definitely shoot them my way.